Hello, this is Sarita, and I'm here to help you understand the truth about who you are. So what I wanted to share with you today was some information that I think is you're going to find very helpful about attachment, energetic attachment, and how each of us can have our consciousness siphoned off us, and what to do about that, how you can stop any attachments. So this is a very complicated subject. So I'm going to actually simplify it for all of you as much as possible. And I think it's really important to have this conversation right now, because what I feel is there is a kind of gathering of momentum of this um, energetic force, which is siphoning off our consciousness as we are experiencing this two world split so there really is a gathering of momentum happening at the moment and i think it's really important that if you're serious about ascending your level of consciousness you're going to have to be aware that there are things or forces or energies or intelligences trying to siphon off your consciousness and trying to take your life force from you and trying to get you to abdicate your free will so it's really important that you're aware of what's going on and that you're prepared to purify and cleanse and clean your body um, on every level so it's not just about what you eat what you think and feel, but it's about being aware of what's out there and being very in touch with your energy field and clearing and cleaning anything that may be stopping you from ascending in your consciousness. So in order to simplify this conversation, um, I'm going to describe this um, force or intelligence, if you like, siphons off our consciousness in a certain way. And this is because when you're talking about attachments and possessions, there are a lot of nuances and um, different things that can go on and occur. And obviously, I don't know everything. I only know what I've experienced, what I've learned, uh, what I feel, information that comes to me. Um, so I'm going to share everything that I know with you. And as a disclaimer, I'm also going to say to you, if this doesn't resonate with you, then turn the video off and, and junk it and, and go and find your own information. Absolutely go into your own research anyway. But I'm trying to assist you from the perspective and through the filter. Obviously, I'm a human being of what I know and what I've learned and obviously my years working as a shamanic practitioner. So in simple terms, we are living in an inverted matrix. OK. It's an inorganic, synthetic architecture that holds all of us um, upon this planet, okay? It's an inversion. It's a perversion of the truth of who we are. And the force that is behind this inversion or the intelligence um, that holds it up, the energy that holds it up, holds it up, is also synthetic and inorganic. It is not able to create. By its very nature, it's destructive. Okay, and this is because it's synthetic. It can't create. And we human beings on the other hand earthlings and our earth are organic beings we are natural beings and we have the capacity as holding source consciousness within us as creators of realities and worlds we are manifesting through our connection to source consciousness okay so you've got this inverted synthetic artificial intelligence structure and um force if you like uh, or energetics holding this world uh containing it or if you like imprisoning us the organic 
within it, okay? This has no life force, um, no organic life force, no creative life force, and we have creative organic life force, okay? So by our very nature, we are infinite. We always go back to source consciousness, to the all that is, and we are infinite beings, we are creators. So because the inorganic, artificial intelligence, synthetic, can't recreate itself it sucks our life force out of us so that it can keep perpetuating itself so it can keep going because it just doesn't have its own life force in the same way that we do you know we've got this spark this essence of divinity within us which is which is eternal okay it's our soul so you could call it our soul there are other things you can call it or you can call it your connection to source consciousness so in this playground of our reality we've always had this thing going on for thousands of years where the inorganic the synthetic the ai whatever you want to call it is suck sucking the life force out of the um organic creators and there's only one way that this can occur and that's basically if on some level you me we one permissions it because the only way your life force your consciousness can be sucked out of you is if you have given your free will away even in minuscule doses that will allow something to come in and suction life force from you because if you give your free will away you're permissioning someone else to take it for you and that's literally what that spark of divinity is within you it's your free will ability um to create it's your sovereignty that's what they're sucking from you basically so one of the ways that we give away our free will is by disconnecting from our heart disconnecting from our sovereignty to the truth of who we are and instead going into fear modes or worry modes and um being completely in the ego and in the mind and the minute you go into fear or worry basically you if you like are less well boundaried you're not so sovereign and you seek even if it's unwittingly for something to come and help you or to rescue you and so just by being in a state of worry or anxiety you're not boundaried you're not sovereign you're not strong and so you're giving away your power and then something wants to come in and take that power from you that take that spark of divinity from you your consciousness from you so one of the easiest ways to have your consciousness siphoned off you is if you are in your ego mind, if you're in a state of worry or fear. Now, obviously, we're living in the inverted matrix. And what on earth are they massively trying to program into the matrix? What is this AI synthetic force trying to program? Well, it's trying to program us all to be in a state of fear or worry and to give our power away. So the minute we do that, they start to siphon off our consciousness and then when your consciousness when your life force when your free will is being siphoned out of you it gets weaker and weaker you're you're losing it more and more and you get more and more in this perpetual state of fear and more and more you look for something outside of yourself to save you and more and more you give away your power and more and more you give away your free will and your consciousness okay and basically what we're talking about here is soul loss you're giving away your soul and this is a very common thing that we heal in 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 the shamanic world is people can experience soul loss when they've experienced shock or trauma and we are being perpetually traumatized so that we have soul loss this is what's happening so you can get into this cycle where your consciousness can be completely sucked out of you okay now if you're very energetically aware you may be able to feel that you've got attachments but many people can't because it's so common it's so common it's been going on for, for so long since we were tiny for thousands of years in all of our incarnations we just don't feel it because it just feels like who we are okay and obviously it's invisible and many people can't even tap in to the invisible world because of the veil that we've had here but this veil is now lifting and also the paradigm of this inverted matrix is crumbling so a lot of things are changing right now 
And obviously, if the energetic architecture that you are within, so the synthetic AI intelligence is within the inverted matrix, if it feels that the inverted matrix is crumbling, which is what it is, the whole paradigm is crumbling, it's going to increase its desire to survive and it's going to throw everything that it can at the situation to create more fear, more ego, more um, dis, uh, more um, dis uh, association from our free will because it's clawing to survive. It's like something drowning. It's just going to grab anything it can to cling on to. And that's why we're seeing even more fear, even more anxiety, even more worry being thrown at the whole situation. OK, so we've got this AI synthetic arconic force if you like dying although it's not arconic is a very minimal way of looking at it and but i'm not going to go into that at the moment just think of it as an inorganic force okay an unnatural perverted force so what can we do about this what can we do about this well what you can do about this is to make sure that you are not in your ego that you are not giving into fear and that you are using your sovereign free will all of the time now one of the best ways to use your sovereign free will is to act on your intuitive impulses so stop doing your familiar routine no matter what and, and this is the whole thing we've also become very familiar because familiar makes us feel safe because we're all trapped in the ego and the ego makes us feel as if we're not safe so that we must do the same things every single day so that we feel safe and we know what's going on well if you want to reclaim your free will you've got to tap into your intuition and you've got to use your free will every moment of every day and i'll give you an example let's say you go for a walk every day so you go for a walk and you, you've got these certain routes that you do and you're going for a walk and an example of really tapping into your free will would be suddenly to have an impulse to go off your usual route and go somewhere completely different that you've never been before because you're you've got a, you look at something and you go god i wonder what it would like to be over there and instead of just wandering and carrying on on your usual route you step off the route go across the field with grass that's two meters high, climb over a river and really explore where that impulse took you. That's a, an, uh, a really simple explanation of how you could use your free will, using your free will and your intuition. Now, if you did that with everything you thought and felt and every moment of every day, you would be really tuned into your free will. But the other thing that you really need when you're using your free will is to be very well boundaried and this is what sovereignty is this is what happens when you're really in the vessel of your body your being you're being absolutely sovereign is you know when to say no you know when you're not going to do that because that doesn't align with you or you're not going to be in this toxic relationship or you're not going to have this conversation with someone because it isn't going to serve you and all of those things or you're not going to put something in your body that you know isn't necessarily going to bring you health there are a million ways that we can be better boundaried and if you really want to be a sovereign container for source consciousness for that light and spark and divinity of free will to be within you you've got to be very well boundaried and if you're boundaried something can't attach to you you would feel it coming in if you were well boundaried you just go no I'm not being having my consciousness siphoned off and the more well boundaried you are and the more you tap into your impulsive intu intuitive free will, the less anything can siphon their consciousness off you. So that is how you reclaim the entire field of your being and you reclaim all of your consciousness back. And the more you begin to reclaim your consciousness, the more you get back, even if a lot of it has been sucked out of you. If you start to reclaim it, it will come back to you because this is this is the source point of that consciousness. It wants to come home, but you have to recall it um, with your free will. Now, obviously, if you allow your consciousness to be siphoned off endlessly and you give away all of your power and your, your free will, there will come a point there will come a point, and this may be very triggering for lots of you to hear, 
where you are basically an empty vessel, where you're soulless. You have a body, it's walking around, but there's no one really home. There's no spark of divinity. There's no life force. And what I feel, what I'm seeing now, and I talk about this, is a zombie apocalypse. We are seeing people who are all too willing to give away all of their power, including their body sovereignty, because they are in such a deep state of fear. And I think there is a point where you've given away so much that you become an empty vessel. And I believe that if you're watching this video, there is no way you're at that point. There will, you know, no matter how much you may have been siphoned off or how much fear you might be in or how much you've given away, the fact that you're even watching this tells me that there is still at some level that spark within you, that free will, that boundary sovereignty, you still have some of it. So if you're watching this video and you feel like a lot of your free will is being siphoned off or you're in perpetual state of worry, or you know your thoughts go round and round and round and round and you just want anybody else to rescue you and you don't want to have to do it yourself the chances are you are having your consciousness siphoned and it's now time to recall that consciousness back into your body so if you're watching this of course there's hope there's always hope but i have to tell you i believe that there are some people who have gone past the point of no return and they have acquiesced their soul consciousness to a synthetic, artificial, um, inorganic intelligence. They've given away their soul. And that's absolutely fine as well because it's their choice, you know? So I'm not gonna talk about what may happen beyond that point because at this point, I don't know. I've got ideas, but I don't know what happens to a soul if it gets to that point. I believe that at the end, at the true end, we all of us go back to the creator consciousness, even artificial intelligence, synthetic, um, the whole lot. I think we all go back to where we came from at the end of the day. OK, so that's that's something lovely to think about. So having said all that. I now need to let you know that the synthetic methods for getting you to acquiesce your free will are very, very cunning. They don't just use fear and worry and anger and all of those emotions to get you to acquiesce your free will. They also use the good stuff. There is a lot of takeover in the spiritual community. And people talk about this as spiritual bypassing. So they can use somebody who just wants to like feel lovely and you know i'm saying this you know mocking but i don't really mean to mock i'm just trying to get the point across you know someone who's always just wants to feel love and light and never think about the problems and never stand up for themselves and they'll just do anything to be kind and they're all good and you must do this so that people love you and and all of this kind of stuff that is another way that they siphon off consciousness, because if you are doing that, if you are feeling good, no matter what, and it's not truly how you feel, you are also giving away your free will, but you're just giving it away in a different way. You're giving it away to the kind of love light -like thing rather than giving it away to the fear anxiety thing. And it's clever. This system is so clever. And I'll give you an example of how people are giving away their power and if this triggers you um go away and look at your trigger but basically the virtue signaling that is going on right now is part of this synthetic inverted matrix if you are willing to have a medicalization in your body not because you want it but because you think it will help someone else that is an acquiescence of your free will absolutely hands down you are not in your free will you are not boundaried and you are allowing something to come in and siphon off your consciousness so every time you do something for someone else 
negating your own self, negating your own heart, negating what you really need, what your truth is, what you really truly believe in, because you feel you need to be the good person, because you feel you need to be included in society, because you're scared of rejection, or because you just want to be loved, or because you think that is a good way to love and care for someone else, then you are not in your truth. Your job as a sovereign being is to look after and love yourself and parent yourself and be your own lover uh, first. That is absolutely your job. Never, ever, ever do something for anyone else which is not absolutely clean and clear in your own being that it's going to serve you first. And that is not selfishness. That is sovereignty. This whole idea that if you're that you're selfish, if you don't do everything for others is part of the inverted matrix, synthetic perversion of our reality. It just doesn't work. No matter how you think it, it's going to help you, it isn't. Your responsibility is to do your own internal work and to be absolutely faithful and true to yourself above all all others no matter what that means that's your job and the minute you do that the minute you're absolutely sovereign the minute you are well boundaried and the minute you are following your intuition your creator consciousness intuition and your free will nothing can siphon um your consciousness so it's really important to Remember that it's not just ooh, the bad stuff that can that can help you, that not can help you, that can um, align you to uh, having your consciousness siphoned off. It's also the perceived good stuff that can do that too. You know, religion, classic, giving your power away to an almighty that is outside of you. And if you don't do that, if you don't do everything, if you then then you'll be punished when you die. I mean, th that's classic giving away your sovereignty. You are the almighty. You are your own messiah. You are your own sovereign being. You are the creator of your own reality. So um, let me just check my notes, checking I haven't um, forgotten anything. So yeah, that's it, really. Um, this is really important to note at the moment because a lot of people are acquiescing their free will, you know, they're doing things that they would just never normally do because they are either in such a state of fear or because they are in extreme virtue signaling. And I implore you to not do anything that doesn't absolutely resonate with your being, including believing what I'm saying. So listen to your inner truth and there is a split going on right now and this split is going to be those who are standing in their sovereignty and their truth and those who are acquiescing their consciousness to something that is artificial and by its very nature destructive in the end so be careful what you do, step into your free will. And it's time now for us to completely detach from anything that siphons off our consciousness or anyone or any situation that, that stops us being able to be exactly who we are. It may be painful to make these choices. It's challenging. It's difficult. It's, um, it's, there's so much despair and heartbreak going on now as we witness this split. But you must be true unto yourself. We need to disengage utterly from perversion, inversion, artifice, and synthetic reality. We absolutely have to step into our organic timeline now. And 
if you are feeling overwhelmed or frightened or you find that you have been virtue signaling or whatever, another really good way to assist you in moving forwards in your free will is to get back to nature. I say this a lot, but basically you're an earthling and look at the earth. Look how just free willed it is. You just can't stop it. It's it's just so vital and alive. And so when you get into nature, it will start um, affecting you and entangling you, with you again and enlivening you. And nature gives. It gives to you and you give to it. It's reciprocal. It doesn't just suck your consciousness and not give it back. There's a reciprocal, beautiful, natural, organic um symbiotic um relationship here because you are earthling so that's something that you can do which is really positive and really helpful if at any time you feel like you need to start reclaiming yourself and recalling your consciousness so i hope that this video has been helpful for you i know it's triggering and potentially frightening to look at these aspects of what is going on and i have really really simplified it because and i'll just put this note there are many many different types of attachments and possessions you know you've got things like attachments um from ghosts where you know the, the body's died but but the soul got stuck here you've got different possessions you know you've got uh, demonic satanic you've got all different kind of possessions and entities that go on but i want you to understand that they are all working within the same framework of this inverted artifice. So no matter what possession or attachment you've got or you know, siphoning off you, um, whether you know about it or whether you don't, the way to, to, to cut your ties with it and to no longer allow any of it is to make your sovereign free will boundaries. It's all the same thing become more organic more vital more full of your life force creation more full of your intuition more full of your free will and all of that artifice will not be able to stay attached it can't siphon you because you have not permissioned it this is all about your consent and your free will so thank you for listening um please share this video if you think it's helpful and please like and subscribe because it means that more people see the videos. There's a lot of funny stuff going on with YouTube at the moment. So we need all the help we can get to, um, to get these messages out. And I love you all. You're doing great. And thank you so much for listening.